Transparency in monetary policy is a goal we should all support. I've often wondered why Congress is, has so willingly given up this prerogative over monetary policy. Congress, in essence, has ceded total control of the value of our money to a secretive uh, central bank. Congress created the Federal Reserve, yet it had no constitutional authority to do so. We forget that those powers not explicitly uh, granted to the Congress by the Constitution are inherently denied to the Congress, and thus the authority to establish a central bank was never given. Of course, Jefferson and Hamilton uh, had that debate early on, and uh, the, the debate seemingly was settled in 1913. But transparency and oversight are something else, and they're worth considering. Congress, although not by law, essentially has given up all its oversight responsibilities over the Fed. There are no true audits. Congress knows nothing of the conversations, the plans, and the action taken in concert with other central banks. We get less and less information regarding the money supply each year, especially now that we, uh, aren't, we don't even have access to M M3 statistics. The role the Fed uh, plays in the President's secretive working group on financial markets goes uh, essentially unnoticed by Congress. The Federal Reserve shows no willingness to inform Congress voluntarily about how often the working group meets, what action it takes that affects the financial markets, or, or why it takes these actions. But all these actions uh, directed by the Federal Reserve alter the purchasing power of our money. And that purchasing power is always reduced. The dollar today is worth only four cents compared to the dollar that the Federal Reserve started with in 1913. This has significant consequences on our economy and our political stability. 